So recently, I watched some guys' videos on King's Dominion, and is Cedar Fair treating the park well or not? I will put the guy's name on top of here whenever uh, I edit this video. And that got me thinking, uh, eventually it seems like King's Dominion will improve, but what if it doesn't? What if they just give it, like, Six Flags style coasters, like the SNS Free Spin, uh, and what if it closes in 2022? Really what if King's Dominion closed in 2022? Of course, uh, I don't think this will happen, but I'm not oh, sure God. exactly. I'm not sure exactly. As for and of when course, King's Dominion closes, I'm not sure when exactly. I'm not sure when exactly. I'm not sure if exactly. So for some reason, I've been very interested in this topic, and one thing that has to happen when a park closes for good is where should the coasters go? Alright, here's the RCTB page. Excuse me, sir. You're wanted on the telephone. Bother that telephone. Alright. So, 13 roller coasters operating right now currently. Where would they go? When I thought about this, my first thought was Anaconda. Now, which Cedar Fair parks don't have a aero looper? Cedar Point does. I mean, it's smaller than Anaconda, but Carowinds also does. kind of weird. Uh, Kings Island did, but it would be kind of weird if they took out an aero looper and then put in its place Gordon. another aero looper, which was smaller. Carowinds does. Yeah. Uh, Canada's Wonderland does. Great America does. Knott's Berry Farm is too small. I mean, it's not exactly too small, but it's landlocked. Right. Uh, yeah, they're landlocked. You have to use that they space very well. Get Anaconda. Um, uh, so. I have an idea. Where is the park? Here we go. Why don't we bring Anaconda to Worlds of Fun? Because they used to have okay. Orient Express. It's a little bit a ways back enough so that the general public won't really remember it. Although, the older fans might be like, hmm... However, hmm. uh, in a list that Airtime Thrills did with, like, the 20 coasters that could close in the next 5 to 10 years, Anaconda was number one. And I agree, it's almost yeah. time for it to go. However, there are two coasters in particular that were almost at the end of their lives, but Cedar Fair moved them anyway. Firehawk at King's and Stinger at Porny Dark. <laughs> 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 so you see, Stinger is moved from Great America to Porny Dark. Uh, it was there for a couple years, but then uh, Porny Dark said, Oh, oops, it broke. Oh, sorry. Time to say goodbye. So, since Seer Fair wants to really suck out all the living daylight it possibly can out of every coaster. I wouldn't rule out uh, the possibility of Anaconda being scrapped, but it could be moved to Worlds of Fun first. It can stay there for five to ten years, and then it's going to go, well, time to die. What's next? We won't necessarily go in order. Here's a fun one. Backlot Stunt Coaster. The Paramount Parks loved Backlot Stunt Coasters. Kano's Wonder has one. King's Island has one. Hmm. Let's bring it to either Carowinds or California's Great America. Hmm. Although, just for, like, the short drive. For now, let's bring it to Carowinds, North California. Former Paramount Park, it makes so much sense. Right? It, it does. That's true. And if we ever bring two to the same park, we'll do two bullet points, just so I... Don't forget. Let's see, uh... Tumbili, which is a weird one because it's still quite new in the chain. It, it's only been operating for like a month. What will they do? Well, Six Flags might be happy to buy it. For some of these, the answer will be sell them to an, someone else right. who wants it. However, my default will be probably to bring it to somewhere else in the chain, so... Valley Fair hasn't had a coaster in a while. Ooh, from what yeah. it from what it seems, they don't have too too much space. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, it's right next to a river. I mean they have some they have, forced areas, although yeah, the main space. path is like blocked off by a bunch of 
Right, it, it would well, be I mean, kind of awkward. Toon Wheelie is one of the smaller free spins, so it, I think its footprint would be a lot smaller than if they were to get a larger coaster. So I think they could definitely make some room for that. Yeah, absolutely. So for now, let's bring it here. What else? Uh, Flight of Fear, former uh, Paramount coaster, Candles Wonderland. They don't have yeah. a launch coaster for adults yet, right? They have Backlot, but that serves a different purpose than Fight of Fear. It, right. uh, it's supposed to give you your first launch coaster. Uh, and plus, the experience is kind of cool. It, it makes so much sense for Candace Wonderland, uh, another Paramount Park, to get a Paramount coaster. They could probably get rid of... What was it? Uh... Flight deck. Flight deck and, they can bring that yeah, to Valley deck. Fair and in its place put back locked. So they took out another Paramount ride to put so in Valley a Paramount Fair ride. Get to, to get two new coasters. Um, you're right. I, I'm being kind of too generous. Let's scrap light deck. <laughs> Even better. Woohoo! Great Pumpkin Coaster, I, I thought a lot about Every single Cedar Fair Park has a key coaster of that scale. I recently learned that Michigan's Adventure has... Wait, was it Michigan's Adventure? It was either... <gasps> Wait, no, 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 it was Worlds of Fun. Worlds of Fun has a wacky worm. Really. Yep. Although it kind of works as yep. their kitty coaster. They... Uh... It doesn't attract to make guess. They probably don't need anymore. coaster more. model there is. Yeah. It is the most common. The more realistic option would be to sell it. Six Flags might be happy to have it, and I think it's possible that the Great Poop King Coaster might go to Six Flags over Georgia. Why? Because their only coaster that could be targeted for little kids is Joker's Funhouse Coaster, but it's kind of big. Yeah, it's kind of big. It's more of a more family of a coaster. Family coaster. It's more of a family coaster, like Gatekeeper. Like Gatekeeper, exactly. Uh, so they could have a a coaster for the very little kids. I think uh, that'll be a great addition, right? Yes. And and plus, Cedar Fair can get some money from them. they. They can't bring it anywhere else, so that'd be good. So we have five coasters so far. Here's one of my favorites oh, yeah. to think about: oh. Grizzly. Where do Grizzly go. Well, Cedar Point doesn't have any space. We play uh, it's in kind California's of useless. Great America and call it Grizzly 2 Electric, Electric Boogaloo. Boogaloo. <laughs> or maybe, maybe what we can do instead of that <laughs> is we can is we can move it to California's Great America, get yeah. rid of the Grizzly that's there now, and then and replace put... it with Grizzly. <laughs> We'll replace it with a one to one replica of the grizzly that used to be there. Perfect. It's settled. No, I was thinking that we're, repl yeah, replacing, <laughs> replacing Great America's grizzly with King's Dominion's grizzly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, and actually, that would be an overall benefit to California's Great America because because it's this a grizzly, better ride. this grizzly is rough, but at least it's somewhat cool. This one is just. Boring and forceless. Boring. So I think they could really benefit it's, from it's that. Like, it's and in like the perfect war. world, that's what I'd do. However, we're we don't we're still trying to think in, in the ballpark of reality. So where would it go? So your point doesn't have any space. The beast is like a better grizzly, so King's Island wouldn't benefit. Kansas one already has one. Great America already has one. Not Spirit Farm doesn't have enough space. Here's an idea. Carowinds needs a wooden coaster after the removal of Thunder Road. Let's take out Hurler uh, and put Grizzly in its place. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's, that's, that's the old Twisted Timbers. I have a better idea. Uh, oh uh, my god, what? Okay, so... They'll probably take out Vortex or Nighthawk. Which one do you think will go first? Vortex or Nighthawk? W which one will That's they scrap first? It's hard to say. I'm going with Nighthawk. Yeah, I was leaning towards that too. Uh, okay, where do we put Grizzly? Uh, 
let's say, hmm. Well, actually, they the put thing, uh, uh, back out over here, and then the thing here they put about grizzly. grizzly. The thing about it's grizzly. weird because the thing about grizzly is that it's like in it's an in the woods coaster, and yeah. that like adds to the experience. But if it's like there in the middle of the park, you don't really get that as much. Hmm. But Car but Carowinds isn't really in a good place Let's with a here. lot of like with a lot of like, I guess... Be kind of walk, but that's kind of the same thing with Grizzly. I have another like one of my American fantastic Eagle ideas. At, at Six Flags Great America. American Eagle. It's like that cute. Yeah. Have you seen that? Uh, no. So what? basically, what you need to do to get to American Eagle is that you basically need to just walk a whole lot, like, sort of out of the park and, like, across some roads to get to American Eagle. It's kind of weird. Six flags! More flags! More, more flags. fun! More fun! What? I, I was saying more fun. When I edit this video, I'm going to know it, uh, everything you said. So I have another one of my fantastic ideas. We... Take out Hurler, we either sell it to another park, bring it to, uh, I, I don't know, Porny Dark, and then we put Twisted Timbers in the same <laughs> location! <laughs> we, we will RNC uh, Hurler without even having to build a new coaster! It has the same footprint! So we take out Hurler and put Twisted Timbers in the same <laughs> place, and we have an RNC and the Giga right next to each other! Yay! Woohoo! Uh, and then we put I-305 in the place of Fury. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I, we will talk about this more, but when I was a GP, I heard Intimidator at Carowinds, and, and I thought that was an exact clone of Intimidator 305, just because Carowinds and Kane's Man seem to have some of the same rides, so I thought Intimidator was I another like that's coaster. a super common thing. I feel like that's a super common thing among the GP, like, n rides being named similarly, so people think they're the same ride. Intimidator like 305, how... didn't we just ride that at Kirwitz? Exactly. It's like how Six Flags has... has... has 11 Jesus million Batman, coasters. 11 million coasters named Goliath. Every park has the, the same ship. nine names. Okay, uh... Basically. I would love to put these same location, but we have to spread them out a bit just so it's easier to see. Yeah! Uh, that would probably be enough for Carowinds. They got a wooden coaster, a small launch coaster, and an RMC. I, I think we've given them enough. So, what else? Uh, Ricochet. It's called Ricochet! I will not accept it's, its name ricochet. change to Apple's Apple. Alright? It's Ricochet. Where should Ricochet go? Remember, it's a small capacity ride, so it can't be at too big of a park. Right. All of the four smaller either, parks I'm have either... a water mouse already. Okay. Candace Wonderland has one. Carowinds has one. Oh, it's called Ricochet! Hmm. How about we make a dueling Ricochet? <laughs> no, wait, that's enough for Carowinds. I am stupid, idiot. Uh, okay. So do we put it at Porny Dark? Porny Dark has a Wild Mouse coaster. Uh, the Coaster Network. They can have hours. another. I mean, that's what Six Flags did with the boomerangs at Six Flags New England. And of course, the park uh, does. Did at a point have three inverted coasters, That's but now nah, uh, this is in ballpark reality. How about we bring it to Kings? They don't have a wild mouse. Correct me mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. Uh, it's a Paramount ride, I believe. Uh, it's a Paramount park. They could bring it to Kings. Woo! -hoo! I mean, it's still one of the more popular parks, but uh, it's not as big as Cedar Point. I mean, it's almost as big, but 
Not exactly. Uh, so we'll we'll bring it here from now, and it will have a good life there. What else? Right. Uh, um, avalanche. Rebel what? I, I I said rebel yell, but we can do avalanche first. We'll do both. I mean, we're doing all of them eventually. Uh, okay. Fair uh, enough. Let's do rebel yell first. Not racer seventy five. Racer is at King's. King. Rebel Yell is, is at King's King. Domination. So, where should Rebel Yell go? So your point doesn't have any space. King's Island already has a dueling wooden coaster. Candace you know, Island is would... an option, but they already have a few solid wooden coasters. They, they're say... also kind of landlocked. I, I mean, have an I idea. Would say... I would say Carowinds because, like, sort of a Fuck religion. the road! <laughs> yeah. But they've gotten enough already, so I'm gonna... That too, and I can't, just can't miss out on the opportunity giving them Twisted Timbers. That is a must. So, I have an idea for this. Horny Dark could use uh, a Dueling Wooden Coaster. They do have Thunderhawk. I know that. I, I understand. They're but that's also their only probably wooden coaster. They're also probably going to get a gravity group uh switchback like wooden coaster, but Thunderhawk is like the old, 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 old coaster. The switchback one could be like, oh gay, it, uh it's a uh shuttle wooden coaster that has a spike. Woohoo! And then Rebel yeah. Yell will be the dueling one. They serve completely different purposes. And of course, remember, it used to have Possessed, Talon, and Stinger. So, they're used to having three of the same ride. So, uh, I think Rebel yes. Yell will have a very good place at Horny Dark. <laughs> if I ever go I, there, I can't get over that name. If I ever go there, that will be the Triple J Ghost Two title. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rides. Oh yeah, we're going to do Avalanche next. Not Reptilian. Gosh darn it, Kingsman! You're renaming all of your rides. Like, just pick one and go with it. Uh, like. I mean, I'm kind of biased since I sort of, like, grew up with King's Dominion. Uh, I have no problem with Bizarro at, uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. But you're, you're renaming all of your rides! Uh, I I'm kind of worried least, about Fight of Fear and- At least it was rethemed to its original theme, Bizarro. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm kind of worried yeah. about Intimidator 305 because it's right next to the jungle part and- uh, they re yeah. renamed, uh, uh, Avalanche, which I'm not going to accept, of course. I'm still going to call it Avalanche. Even if, though if the it's get, new paint scheme is kind of If they get rid of, of the cool. Dale Earnhardt references, I'm about to riot. Yeah, if if they rename it to something jungle-themed, I, I might actually stop going altogether. I mean, I'll probably still go again for Tumbili and then no more. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, I have an idea. It's a low-capacity ride. It's kind of cool. Michigan's Adventure. What, what do you sure. think? They have tons of space. They haven't gotten a coaster in since Giaga Lake closed, and then they'll then they'll be quiet for another twelve to fifteen. And years. it'd be a unique coaster, so it'd be a draw for that park. Yeah, that, along with kind shivering of cool. timbers. Yeah, it, it might excite some people there. Uh... Woodstock Express! It's a smaller wooden coaster, so it could possibly fit into some of the small ones. And here's a hot take. Why okay. Cedar Point? Because... It's Junior Blue Streak. Junior Blue Streak! I I exactly! Uh, uh, that's exactly right. They, they have some room for it. Blue Streak could be like the bigger wooden coaster and... Uh, a lot of kids go there, a lot of people go there, so they need more demand for uh, kiddie coasters. They could still have Wilderness Run as their tiny one, and Woodstock Express for their uh, somewhat bigger one. O obviously, they, they do have to rename um, Kings of Mains Woodstock Express to Junior Blue Streak, obviously! That? Uh, I, I think they can make it work somehow, like... Uh, let's see, where could they add it? It doesn't have to be next what to Blue about, Streak. What about Baby Blue Streak? Baby Blue Streak? Because it, it already kind of is like a Baby Blue color. Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, where mm-hmm. could they? Uh, I, I mean, I'm too yeah, lazy to make a measurement. So, uh, that's an interesting idea. Here. Yeah, where would they? Uh, uh, here. I mean, if they have to thin the river a bit, fine. Oh, oh, maybe Topfield Jagster is on its way out. It's sad, of course. I, uh, I don't want it to go. I really hope it doesn't. Right. One question, airtime thrills was once given is. What coaster would you, like, lock in to make sure it never goes defunct? If you asked me a year ago, it would have been El Tor, just because, uh, Six Flags might be considering RM seeing it. I mean, it's unlikely, but possible, and, uh, I, I will write if that happens. But now, I will put it on Top Thrill Jackson, Dragster. just because it's such a Dragster. special ride. It looks like very bad dream. The better king to you come. You feel the fear of riders by, by looking, looking at, at the, the picture. picture. This, this roller coaster, roller coaster looks, looks like, like very bad. bad dream. Yeah, it's such a special ride. So I really hope it doesn't go. But if it has to, at least they can put Woodstock Express in its place. Uh, at, at least, uh, it this gang rid of is a given. But you might as well use that space. However, if they choose not to, hmm. Uh, this has a railroad track, and of course, don't mess with trains. If Cedar Creek Mine Ride weren't here, that, that would be perfect, but all the arrows right, must stay yeah. for as long as possible. Oh! There we go, former Shoot the Rapids land. Yeah, that that's good. Uh, I yes. mean, this, uh, this would be better just because it's right there. Uh, although if they want to keep top of those jacks there, that's the next best choice. It might be a little bit of walk, but, oh, oh well, they'll, uh, they'll have fun with it, I guess. Uh, they'll have some exercise. So, that's 11 coasters down, two more to go. Let's see. Oh, Dominator! They better take really, really good care of that. That is a Geauga Lake coaster. I, I mean, I'm kind of biased. It was like my Geauga first big coaster. <laughs> yeah, obviously, they should bring it back to Geauga Lake, call it, uh, <laughs> Batman uh, night flight, uh, and yeah, exactly. it might be kind of cool with the uh, locals. Oh, look, it's back! Let, let's go oh, ride it. it. It would be kind of cool. Clearly. Uh, hmm. Horny Dark already has a floorless coaster. I don't think there's enough room at Carowinds. Uh, Sear Point has what used to be Mantis, and it's a mm. high-capacity ride. Remember that. Uh, it can handle a good amount of any B and M can handle a good amount of people. Uh, let's see. Great America has Patriot. Uh, I I kind of feel bad. I n- didn't give any to the California parks. California, it's nothing against you. I promise. But your amusement parks don't have much space. That that's that's all. We're sorry. We're we're sorry, California. It's nothing. It's nothing personal. I uh, swear. So let's see. I have an idea. Another Kings Park. Another Paramount Park. Uh, they are getting close, but that's just a wild mouse. It, it's nothing too special. So, how about... Uh, let's see, where in the property should it go? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Go away. Here's Kings. Um, oh, they could take out Virgo. Uh, oh, and Congo Falls and that's put Dominator true. here. Just like at King's Domination, it's as soon as you enter the yes. park to the left. Uh, it will be fantastic. That, that way, the park has two dangling coasters. That's right. Or they can use it to replace Firehawk. Oh wait. Wait a minute. You did update the stupid map. Or 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 uh, or 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 or. I. Wait. I think it's kind of it's, funny how. Wait. It's there, but there's still track on the ground. <laughs> Oh. There's an airtime hill. Yeah. But, <laughs> but here's another thing I noticed. Like this? I, I kind of find it uh, <laughs> funny how the former Dinosaurs Alive oh, that park looks, is a that ghost. looks like a ghost. <laughs> it's a ghost. <laughs> That's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> um, or maybe they could expand the Area 75. Um, they could bring a path under Orion and repaint Domner, although... Uh, probably to preserve, like, the original orange track and, like, the general theme. It would probably be better to put it over here if they can find the right. space for it. Uh, I mean, a, right. like, a it, it space theme. It can't go in a whole lot of places. 
I mean, here there there's plenty of space, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, I like to preserve the original theme. And also, same say the same guy river, that there are probably what there are probably residential areas across the river. Oh yeah, yeah, right yeah. There. They probably had enough with Orion, uh, uh, and that's yeah. newer. Dominator will probably make more noise. Uh, and plus, I want to preserve yeah, the theme. Say it's the same guy who got a Geogly coaster. And an older b &M. What? Uh, I say I want to preserve the original theme, but King's Domination in Florida has a Geogly coaster, and I renamed it to Georgia Lake Pig Tipper. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a park in RCT2, and I had their Big Dipper coaster go to it. Which is what should have happened in the first place, let's be honest. Uh, they they could have. If if they could do it in the 80s, they could have done it uh, in 2016. Let's right, be they honest. They did it with Wild One. Yeah, and exactly. The DIN Corporation did that. The DIN Corporation. If the DIN Corporation could do it, literally anyone could. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of mad about that. So, that appears to be it. Oh, wait a minute. It's pretty obvious how the Intimidator at King's Domination gets its name. No video footage of that uh, GP quote exists anymore because I couldn't find the original video and Coaster College privatized the live stream, which is his choice. Uh, he's allowed to do what he wants with his channel. I respect his uh, rebranding and he seems to be doing very well, but I kind of miss it. So uh, I'll put this more on the park. Where should Intimidator go? Well, my heart says bring it to Carowinds uh, and uh, uh, put two, it. Keep the same two. name, Intimidator 305. Have two Giga Coasters, and you'll confirm my GP two. thought that it has a clone of i 5 And there'll everybody be two wins. Intimidators and two Gigas. That's right. I, I see no <laughs> downside to that. Uh, Man, Carowinds will be the top suitor fair park if that happens. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, it, it might act. Many people say it's kind of top heavy with the coaster editions, which I can see why. Not anymore! You have an Intamin Giga, an RMC, a old Durstyle wooden coaster, and Backlot Stunt Coaster. Oh my goodness! Carowinds is what I wish King's Dominion was. When I heard uh, that they got a smaller Intimidator and uh, they have. A pretty bad B&M stand-up and uh, hurler. I used to think Carowinds was the trashier version of King's Dominion. Well, the opposite is true. Before I heard about Fury, of course. Well, it's kind of the opposite. Uh, well, shit. So where should uh, Intimidator Theo 5 go? Um, well, hmm. so your point already has a giga. You know, uh, I'm... Kando's Wonderland I'm always thinking... has a giga. King's Island already has a Giga. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know what? Orion is 287 feet tall. Uh, Intimidator is 305 mm -hmm. feet tall. Probably with a 300 foot drop. So, you could... Yeah, we'll uh, I'm not, This isn't my final answer. <laughs> a real Giga? <laughs> oh, that doesn't reflect our uh, thoughts on Orion. That is a joke. This is not my final answer. Not my final answer. But, I can see a possible win for this, because it's technically taller than Orion, it will tower above it, and you could say that's the tallest ride in the park! Wait. Plus, at Kingsman is like a mid-tier Sierra Fair Park, but i 5 doesn't get much attention from GP just because it's too intense. So it needs to be at as big of a park as possible, in order to get the most through boot. I could see King's Island and uh, doing that. Um, let's see. Uh, you don't want to go on yeah, the beast King's land. Uh, uh, this no. this area, no, no. Don't even think I about it. I five has a huge footprint, so it'd be hard to find a place for. It. Hmm. Maybe. Uh. Uh. This is like that. out, out uh, behind the out behind the bat hmm. and banshee. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. It seems like Adventure Express. Uh. It. I haven't heard much of this, uh, but it could be the next on the chopping block. Maybe, maybe, uh, I, I don't know, um, just because it's kind of old. 
Uh, it seems kind of cool, though. But either they can make a path, they can squeeze it between it and fight a fear, uh, and then have it here. However, uh, since King's Island's already kind of loaded with new rides, Kerwin's even more so. Every single park either already has a giga or doesn't really have the uh, attendance numbers for a giga just because. I mean, with I the would cable say it's kind of. I would say California's Great America, but that's a smaller park. Well, it's okay in terms of attendance, but in terms of space, uh, also no. Same thing yeah. with Knott's Berry Farm. In fact, they're trying to get their own giga. Oh. Hopefully, it'll yeah. happen. They'll probably concentrate on that. My final answer to what they should do with ITU5 is sell it. And then the other uh, chain will decide what to do with it. So, we passed down the problem uh, to someone else. We took the problem and pushed it pushed somewhere it else. Somewhere else. Yeah. Who do I think will buy it? Hmm. Uh, Hershens doesn't have too many relocations. Same thing with SeaWorld. I, uh, SeaWorld, uh, they're, they kind of need to preserve their money a bit just from investing all their time and money into 2020 only for that to be, uh, a shit year. So they kind of, I mean, they could, I wouldn't say, uh, absolutely not, but they probably want to preserve their money. My guess is six flags. Six, six, six flags. flags. More, more flags. flags. More fun. More fun. Uh, more, more McDonald's. More fun. fun. Six, 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 six flags. flags. Everyone pays the 59, 59 kids are lowest price of the year. year. <laughs> Buy 24 tickets, get one free. Buy ass? No, it comes with five free cups. <laughs> get your season pass now for just five as f It comes with free ass for friends. Over 15 cups gives you unlimited f <laughs> Put this off for end <laughs> Man, that video deserves more views. Uh, now, it seems kind of weird. Six Flags buying a Giga? No way. However, uh, it, since it's so much, Seer Fair will probably want to sell it cheap. It was like, uh, I don't know, $25 million. They can probably get away with like somewhere between eight and... 15 million. Uh, I, I would say that's a fine price range. I mean, they probably, they're probably they probably spending uh, 15 million on a diabolic dive coaster, so they're probably willing to make that investment. And plus, it's a really tall coaster! You, you can't complain about that. So, let's say Six Flags buys it. It's a cheap way to get their very first Giga. Where will they bring it? Well, Magic Mountain technically has a space, but the land Six around it- Six Flag America! No. Six Flag America! Woohoo! Yep, it's settled. They have the space for it. it. It's my home Six Flags Park. Even though I'm like two and a half hours away from it, but technically it's my home park. It will never ever happen, but if i through 5 is relocated to Six Flag America, I'll probably go there every weekend just to marathon it. I-, I like- it would immediately become a middle-tier Six Flags Park just because of that. Here's the fun fact. Paramount uh, bought three orders of a Vacoma Flying Dutchman for their parks. One of them was bought to Great America. They were going to put one at King's Island and King's Dominion, but after Stealth was kind of a failure, they're like, okay, we don't want these anymore. Who wants these contracts? Oh, Six Flags says, I do, I do, I do. Okay, here you go. Hmm, so we have these Vakoma Fine Dutchmans. Where should we put them? How about we put them in similar areas to where they were ordered? Let's put this one at Six Flags World's Adventure. Let's put the other one at Six Flag America. We got the Vakoma Fine Dutchman that was supposed to be a King's Dominion. And you know what's even better? When Steve Fair bought Jug Lake, they bought Firehawk to King's Island. <laughs> 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 Only Paramount. for a decade, though, and yeah. b this uh, was related to... plan was completed. Yeah, their their journey was. They completed. played right into my hands. <laughs> Only for a decade, ago, similar to Stinger at Pony Dark, uh, they said, "Oh, oh, oh, no! It can't operate anymore. Sorry, guys, it, it's closing. It, it's time for it to die." We're going to bring a, a bigger coaster, a better coaster there, but for now, oh, well, sorry, it's closing, goodbye! 
Time to die. Well, time to die. So, where should Intimidator 305 go? Um, let's see. Uh, Great Adventure! No, uh, they have King Nika. Yes, a Giga is technically different from the Strata, technically, but that that's kind of like the tall ride, and like, you can't really market I-305 when you have King Nika right there. I mean, yes, yes, Zero Point does have both a Giga and a Strata, I realize, but the Giga is put there first. And that helped the guests realize, oh, this has a big layout, but Top Tool Jagster is the taller one. Uh, they both have different features. So, here's my final answer. You want to guess? Waltamere! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> or, 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 Queen Escape! <laughs> yeah, yeah it will... That's it! Oh. That's it! Oh, Great okay. Escape! Okay. Here's my final answer. <gasps> Wild Adventures! <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Here, here's my actual, actual final answer. No joke this time. You know, cowboy coaster in Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? So, yes. The Lakeside Amusement Park in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> exactly. In Lake Garden. Illich Gardens, um, the Mattel Amusement Park that's going to open in Arizona. It's literally in the same city as Driver 3 Joe, who is a very, uh, cool guy. I am a let's member of this channel. In, let's put it in Six Flags, Mexico. Yeah, exactly. It will be the tallest coaster in Mexico in that case. Uh, you know what? Uh, that's actually... Not, uh, that far off. Tallest coast in Mexico. Let's but they do have a super in La Ronde. Yeah! <laughs> Perfect. Or, 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 you know where they should put La Ronde it? La in Montreal. Uh, you know where they should put, um, uh, Intimidator 305? Uh, it, it's a tourist hotspot. So many people are going to be able to go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know the new coaster that's going to come to Fujiku Highland? Maybe bring it there! <laughs> okay. Well, we said Six Flags going to purchase. Here's uh, my final answer. Airtime Thrills once made a video about, like, what each... Uh, coaster Frontier uh, City would go to what park uh, in his ideal world? Why? Because oh. it's like the big coaster. I, I right? was I was actually thinking that I was actually Ooh. thinking Six Flags Great America because they That's don't right. have any coasters really above two hundred feet, except That's for right. Raging Bull. But Raging Bull is like <laughs> barely below. Uh, yeah, it's just barely there, and it's kind of slow. In Tier 5, it's very fast. Uh, so... Right, it'd be the fastest uh, ride I in think the park if it's I'm going to get a lot of people there. People are going to be really excited. They're going to come from, uh, all over the Chicago area. People come from all over, they're going to ride it. Uh, yeah, I would, I would say, uh, that's a very good home for In Tier 5. And Airtime Thrills would be happy. Or he could be like, wait, no, no, don't do that! Uh, don't relocate it. How do you relocate a Giga? That might be kind of difficult. Very carefully. But hope very carefully. Yes, that's the answer for everything. Very carefully. How do you break a pot? Very carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> but let's hope this remains as a hypothetical. What is what is two plus two? Very, very carefully. carefully. <laughs> <laughs> very carefully. Uh, what other questions? What is a chain lift launch system? <laughs> Very careful! <laughs> <laughs> Which park should ITO5 go to? Very careful! <laughs> <laughs> when will Dill 
bring me my state-of-the-art laptop. I'm not sure when exactly. Very, Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> How do you take out I'm further sorry. and put Twisted this Timbers in its place? Very carefully. That I'm too smart to understand. Very carefully. <laughs> oh boy. This was a great discussion. Let's see. One, two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I forgot to delete this. I am stupid idiot. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of looks like a dog. Uh, of the front half of a dog. Uh, let's see. If you put one in La Ronde, um, you put one at Lake Compounds, at at Jolly Roger. It's a dog! <laughs> to start as such an intellectual discussion. We move I-305 to Jolly Roger. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> we move I-305 to Jolly Roger. Uh, like, that's... Just so then I'm actually gonna go point. to Ocean City sometimes. Uh, it, like, uh, I live... It's Somewhere in the western the part of this there. map, uh, I, I could just easily go there. I mean, it's kind of thin, but, um, how do you think we did this? They carved it out. So, obviously, they could just grab some land, yeah. plop it down here, uh, and then, yeah, easily. I see no problem with this. I, I see, or, yeah. you know what, even better, just give it a Triple J Ocean Resort. We'll take great care of it. I even better. Dude, I would go like, uh, does, uh, Jolly Roger have season passes? I would get a season pass, and I would go like, uh, uh, every Saturday and Sunday, and just go ride it all the time. No, like, like, would dude, you? finally, we'll that have a major amazing. coaster in our area that we don't have, have to drive half a day for. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Figured everything out. Yep. Figured everything out. Um, I'll end the video here. Any, uh, last minute words? It's not working! No! <laughs>